Okay, update YouTube. So I just got a call from Sherry Johnson from the city of Norfolk because Vicki, my neighbor next door, keeps calling in false complaints. She just did it with the city of Norfolk Police Department. So I have an appointment with Miss um, Margaret Kelly on Wednesday, October 30th, 2019. Okay. Because Vicki doesn't know how to mind her own business. So Sherry Johnson from the city of Norfolk just called me because I went down. I've been trying to get in touch with her for the last couple of weeks now. She finally returned my call. Thank you, Miss Johnson, for doing that. So I recorded the call, and this is what Miss Johnson has to say because my vehicles are all, everything's fine. I'm allowed oh, to God. park. Look at it. Yeah, because my car was used. Okay, so as okay. long as I park. Okay, so my car is fine where it's at? Yeah, it, I'll put on my up and the picture again so I can look at it. Yeah, because my car runs, it starts, it's okay. all my stuff is legal. I'm looking at the picture that he took of you and you took of him. You're in front of the F-150 truck. In front of that F-150 truck is two trash cans and then your car is there. Yes. With the car cover on it. Yes. It is absolutely fine to be parked there. The only time it's a parking on the grass or parking on the unimproved surface is in the front yard. If you want to put your show car in the backyard, you can do that. It doesn't matter. But you are fine where that is now. And don't let anybody tell you any different. Oh, okay. Thank you, Miss Johnson. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, if you have a problem with that, you call me back or, or what have you. Because your show car is fine. The only time you're getting into a little trouble is when you pull that truck off to the left by the tree. Oh, okay. Well, see, the only reason why I've done that is because she keeps hitting my vehicle, and she just did it the other day, too. So I have that on camera, and okay. this is like the third time that she's hit my vehicle. She already hit my show car, and that's why I keep putting the cover on it so she does it because yeah. they hit it with that trailer. So when I had my truck backed in and my uh -huh. truck was facing forward, they had pulled the trailer out and scratched my truck all the way down the driver's side. And oh. so, yeah, so when I pulled in, I pulled off my driveway um, up into the front of the bush, and they just hit it again the other night. Uh -huh. That's why yeah. I keep pulling my truck over off the driveway. So yeah. how, far, so how far over can I actually pull off of my driveway? You're not supposed to at all, but I would say if you want to scooch over a tire off on that left-hand side to give it more room on your right-hand side where a trailer is, nobody's going to bother you. But it's just when you pull the whole truck up into the front is when you're getting um, into a little bit of trouble. Okay. But if you want to pull over and just like a, like one tire off so that gives you another foot or two okay. away from her, I think that'll be okay. All right. Thank you, Miss Johnson. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. yeah, so I'll put this together, the pictures that he has on the date, um, and what we've put up there, and it'll lift when the calls came in, but it won't lift right. um, who, who did them. Okay, so yeah, and thank you anyway. for telling me about the September one, I didn't even know about that one. Yeah, it looks like um, they were out there September 17th on a complaint, and we just kind of left. Usually what we try to do, especially for parking on the grass or commercial vehicles, is just leave a pamphlet that says, because most people don't know you can't do that. Okay. You know, if you live in the country, you park wherever you want. Um, so we always try to just leave an educational thing first. Okay. Okay. Well, I appreciate that, and I appreciate you taking the time to um, send me all that information, too. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, it should, I'll get it together in the morning and uh, mail picks up every year early, so you should get it in the next day or two. All right, thank you so much. And please tell, right. please tell Rocky that I did not mean to flip out on him like that. I was, it's very frustrating when my neighbor keeps calling in, you know, false complaints and then to have the police department come out here and yeah. waste their time when they need to be doing more important, you know, uh, community service calls that really are important. Unfortunately, yeah, it does. unfortunately, this happens more than I would you would think would happen with neighbors. Yeah. Uh, and it's just sad. It is but, sad. You know. Well, please. Take care of yourself. Please tell Rocky I am so sorry. <laughs> he's, he's a big boy. 
way he can take it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ms. Johnson, very much for returning my call. I appreciate it. All right. You have a good day. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Well, that was Sherry Johnson from the city of Norfolk um, calling me back because of these uh, calls that keep coming in from Vicky next door. So you just heard that my vehicle and my show car are fine where they are. I don't have to, they don't have to be on no concrete slab or anything like that. And it doesn't matter as long as my vehicle is pulled in straight where it's at. And this, this is from the city, uh, this is from the police department that she called in, which, um, you know, I have an appointment over at the city attorney's office on Wednesday for this. So I'm going to get all this information from them under the FOIA Freedom of Information Act. And I will be over at Jack Cloud's office and talk to Margaret Kelly about this. So you just heard that from Ms. Johnson. Thank you very much, Ms. Johnson, for that information. Have a great day.